hi everyone if i ask you what is npm then what would you answer well yeah you are right npm is a node package manager so node package manager when we say node which means it's something related to node.js and in our previous tutorial we saw how to install node.js step by step and we also saw if we install node.js in our system npm is also automatically installed which means if in any system node.js is installed it means npm is also installed in that system now we'll see what exactly npm is and what are the facilities what are the capabilities npm provides okay uh, i'll show you how to check the node.js version if it's on your system you just need to go to command prompt okay and if you go to command prompt let me and if you type node hyphen hyphen version it will go it will give you the uh, node version which is installed on your system okay so on my system version 8.9.1 is installed cool now now the question comes what is what is npm npm is a node package manager then node package manager then question comes what is node what is package and what is manager in npm so let's try to understand here you go npm is a package manager for node.js packages for or modules if you like which means there are which means uh, we can download different packages which we have node.js which i mean in our last tutorial we discussed node.js is a is a runtime environment which provides an environment wherein we can run our javascripts at the server side which means node.js have different files different folders so there are into some packages and those packages we can install download with the help of npm so npm tells node.js okay give me this package i want to use this so npm is a kind of package manager uh, for the node.js packages now we'll see what exactly packages are so what is a package uh, now we can see let me okay so what is a package a package in node.js contains all the files you need for a module we can think of package contains some kind of files and folders which we need it and now what are modules modules are javascript libraries you can include in your project cool let me make it simple if for example if there is a java project we need some jar files to write some some code and to get the things done for example if you want to read excel sheet we need to have apache pui as a jar file and we include it into our project and uh, uh, let me talk about uh, for two minutes about the java project and if we want that apache pui jar file then we can if it's a maven project then we can say okay with the help of maven it will download the dependencies so dependencies management is being done by maven when it comes to java maven project same way we can correlate here in when we have node.js project and in that we need some dependencies we need some files we need to download some things so we can do with the help of npm npm package manager cool so so you can think of it okay if we need some packages some files and folders some dependencies in node.js environment then we can we can get those dependencies those softwares those packages with the help of npm i'll give you one example then it will make it very clear what is the uh, power of npm now we know in our system uh, node.js i mean the version of node is this 8.9 i'll i'll show you in a very simple step how to install protector protector is an automation tool right for the automation of angular js application on my system uh, 
on my system it's already there but uh, if anyone wants to work on protect a tool how he can start the step one is node.js installation if it's done now with the help of npm that person can install protector yeah that is the power of npm node package manager and we know uh, protector is a node.js program which means there's some be the in node.js there will be some protector package which we can download using npm the command is very simple if i write npm install protector it will install protector on my system pretty simple and if i append npm install hyphen g so it will install globally on my system and if i don't use this hyphen g it will install in in this directory c drive users my pc and if i use hyphen g it means it, it will install at the global level npm install hyphen g hyphen hyphen g stand for global globally and uh, it will download all the dependencies packages modules everything i mean whatever protector tool is everything you will get on your system in in a single command that is the power of npm that is node package manager if i click on enter npm install hyphen g protector which means uh, npm is node package manager install means i am giving npm is telling okay install hyphen g globally protector so it's a software name protector we can if we want any other uh, software any other library will say npm install hyphen g and that name of the library may be abc or xyz so now we got to know okay what exactly npm is and npm comes with node.js installation and uh, if we want some software some packages some modules we can directly install with the help of npm now you could see on the screen that npm is trying to downloads the libraries and everything uh, for the protector so let me tell something about uh, what will happen after this so when we use npm install hyphen g protector it downloads mainly two things two command line tools will be downloaded number one is protector tool itself and another one is web driver manager so now you could see uh, i got these two options like uh, uh, web driver manager and protector and at this location c drive users app data roaming node modules protector bin protector so with this protector is installed on my system and i can use protector protector libraries to write automation test for the automation of angular js application cool so with the help of npm we can install protector cool awesome uh, that's it for today thank you so much